Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle, and um, I'm gonna do a little Cinema 4D uh, tutorial here on how to make a jelly look like cube. But before I get started with that, I want to tell you guys: for you guys that did subscribe to me to watch Call of Duty commentaries, don't you guys worry. I will have commentaries up. I just don't have gameplay um to record over my voiceover, so uh, I will find gameplay. But this is just something for you guys to watch while I get gameplay in to do a commentary. So don't worry, don't unsubscribe. I will have um, Call of Duty commentaries or just uh, game commentaries up soon. But uh, here's what this little project looks like. It has this little jelly effect, so when it hits the ground, it um goes and looks kind of like jelly, what jelly would do when it hits the ground. So let's go ahead and get started in this. So file new. So what you guys want to do to start off is go up to this little blue cube. Um, go ahead and select this and go over to plane. Now what you guys need to do to be able to select plane is, I never knew this, it took me a long time to figure out once I got Cinema 4D. Um, is to hold down your left, like hold down your left click. Don't let go and go over and then select plane. Let go to select plane. Now there's these little things right here. Go ahead and drag that on over there and drag this over just to make a bigger plane. Uh, let's make that a little bigger. There we go. And uh, go back over to this blue cube and go ahead and select cube. Now go ahead and put your thing up in the air, your cube. Now you guys don't have to do this, but I like uh, clicking this little recycling looking tool, the arrows. And go ahead and turn this just a little bit to give that effect of uh, hitting the ground at an angle. It gives a little more effect, I think. So once you're done with that, go down to File, New Material. Now instead of using this over here, what I like to do is double click just to make this bigger so I can see it. And um, go ahead and select Texture. Go down to Surfaces and Checkerboard. Now you guys can change the black and white, but I'm going to leave the black the same and change the white to red. I just think red looks better. So go ahead and click OK. Now you can use now on here though you can use anything you really want. You don't have to use um checkerboard. You can use cloud, earth, fire, flame, galaxy. You can use all of these. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Just to get that out there, uh, you guys don't have to use a square either. But nah, I'm just using the square. So uh, go ahead. And once you're done with that, as you see, if you click play, nothing will happen. It will not fall. Have any jelly effect. Now so you're gonna go to cube and change all these segments Y. X and Z. I just did that totally backwards, but who cares? Change all those to three. All of them. Now do that before you do this next part. You have to. Now once you're done with that, click C and then go over to tags, um, cloth tags, and do cloth for the cube. Don't get that mixed up. Go down to plane, select C again, click tags, go down to die, uh, cloth tags, and click collider for the, um, for the plane. Now the claw tag is going to make the cube fall and the cube is going to hit this which makes it this surface hard so it um, bounces. So then what you want to do next is uh, actually you don't even have to do anything next. You're pretty much done. That's all you have to do. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy it and as always please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. See you guys later.